Hey Heather, you'll have to excuse my nasally stuffy voice. Um, I am learning. <laughs> of course I am constantly learning that you can't just like do things like go on a 10 day road trip with two small children and then just like jump back into normal life without some sort of plan for like an on-ramp. And you need more than like, at least I need more than a day of an on-ramp. And I'm learning less that I need that time because I'm, I'm understanding now, okay, I need that time, got it. But I'm learning to not judge myself for that and to just be okay with that. You know what, like I need a week of on-ramping back to like my normal life instead of just like being like, okay, well, I've got an extra day there. Like, great, you know, that's fine. That'll be plenty. I'll just like do some laundry and get everything back to normal. Like, it's not like that. Um, there is some kind of resettling and I did not figure that in really. Not enough. I didn't figure out in enough time. Um, so I think my body is going like, oh my God. <laughs> it's rebelling a little bit. Anyway, um, you had such fascinating stories about water last week or two weeks ago because I was gone last week. So now here I am. Anyway, you had really interesting stories about water. I did not know those things about you. Um, I don't have like scary water stories. I too though have the same kind of weirdly like, like weird fascination and also dread of deep water um and that's especially weird because maybe it's not because it's this counterphobic thing right because i was a swimmer and i was actually a synchronized swimmer so like upside down in the water like it, it just doing all the things right so um that's always creeped me out like looking at the deep end of a pool underneath the water totally creepy oh my gosh but i just decided like i just decided that it didn't matter i had just like decided that i had to just be tough and mentally tough and press on um of course but what's um i when you asked about like seeing beauty in in fear i'm just like oh i i'm not there yet <laughs> Um, but I did have, like, I, I do have this weird, like, fascination with, um, with, like, deep sea creatures. I wouldn't quite say that I find them beautiful, but I do find them fascinating, and I will, like, ever since I was a kid, I would, like, we had this children's encyclopedia, and, like, there was a page in there that had, like, all these deep sea creatures and these pictures of them, and I would, like, like, all by myself, I would, like, go and, like, open the book and, like, look at these pictures of, deep sea creatures and freak myself out and then when um i was older we had this video game it was nintendo 64 it was like super mario this is probably lost on you um but there was a level where you could go like it was like this weird like kind of like sort of like haunting um like yoga massage music <laughs> Um, not relaxing, a little eerie, um, and there, it was like this level that was like kind of just like empty, and, um, it was just like this, like, like lost sea in a cave, and like you could like dive into the sea, and that was a level you had to like find coins and things like below the water, and it was like 3D, right? And that's what creeps me out about the water, is like, that I can't, it's the same with like wide open spaces and outer space is when I can't see, like it's maybe it's an agoraphobia thing, but when I can't see behind me, like there's no wall I can be up against, like I need to be able to see all around. Otherwise I feel like that's when I kind of feel the panic. And when you're in outer space or in the deep sea, like it's below you and around you and up like everywhere, like you can't see all around. So anyway, I used to go play this level like by myself, <laughs> like, in the dark it was weird like I had to like I would go and like just just like go swim around I wouldn't even like actually try to win it I would just like swim around in the caves and like it was like my my version of like exposure therapy or something but um and then there was like this one eel in the like it was this giant eel that once in a while you would like find him and it was super creepy to find him um but anyway yeah I don't know what that is I think it's probably pretty common to be like creeped out by by you know deep sea stuff that's just not 
you know, where humans naturally belong is, but also in outer space, right? And also very unnatural to be in like a wide open space with like nothing and no one. That's like the scene of a horror movie to me. Um, but anyway, I don't know. This is just like all the ramblings of your video and everything that I thought about it. Anything beautiful from it? Not that I am connected with at this point. I will talk to you next week.